Welcome back everyone on deck for review today. We have one of the more popular carry guns in the country. It is the uh, Glock 26 9mm. This one here is the Gen 3. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put a few rounds through it here from the 12 meter line like we typically do. Get into the pros and the cons of the gun. What makes it so popular. And uh, that'll pretty much be it. But right now, let's see if I can make this steel ring a little bit for my 12 meter line. Hopefully, maybe. See what we can do. I did my part, the gun did its part, it all worked out well this time. For those of you guys unfamiliar with Glock pistols, we'll go ahead and break the gun down here for you. How that's done is you want to drop the magazine by hitting the mag release here. Mag comes out, lock the slide to the rear, and uh, inspect that chamber, make sure there's nothing in there. And then let the slide go forward. You're going to point the gun in a safe direction, pull the trigger, and then you're going to pull back slightly on the slide, about an eighth of an inch. There's tabs on both sides here. You're going to pull down on those, and the slide will come right off. Go ahead and pull your uh, recoil spring out and your barrel out, and that is your field strip Glock 26. Just one thing to note, unlike other Gen 3 Glocks, this one does have that double recoil spring already in there. The compact models, or subcompact models I should say, do have that. For reassembly, just go ahead, put your barrel back in, put your recoil spring in there, go ahead and uh, wide your slide up on your frame, and you're going to rack it. And you're good to go. The gun is reassembled. Some folks out there say the Glock 26 is a pocket gun. I generally do not carry it in my pocket. I find it a little bit bulky for that in that it does print. But occasionally I am able to uh, pocket carry the CM9 here, the car CM9 that you see in front of you. You can see there looking at it from the side, they're roughly the same dimensions. The car's a little bit shorter there in the slide and the barrel. But where the difference really shows is in the side-by-side -side comparison. You can see there that Glock is a good bit thicker than the single stack car CM9. That said, obviously, it's a trade-off because you're getting more rounds with the Glock 26. So, pros and cons to both, but there's a size comparison for you. Up next, we'll have the shield to show you how that compares to the Glock 26. So there's the M&P Shield 9 compared to the Glock 26. You can see, again, from the side, roughly the same dimensions, lay them on top of each other. Not a whole lot of difference there. Glock's a little bit longer in the slide. The shield's a little bit longer in the uh, grip. But again, where the difference really shows is in the slides. The uh, 26 is a little chunkier and the uh, shield is going to carry a little bit better, especially if you're going for pocket carry, or even that slimness is going to help inside the waistband. Not that the Glock 26 is bad or hard to carry inside the waistband, but the thinness really does help. While I was doing that size comparison, I forgot to mention the actual dimensions of the gun. It is uh, 6.4 inches long, 4.2 inches high, and the uh, thickness is 1.18 inches. So definitely not a thick gun, but like you just saw there, compared to the uh, Shield, CM9, PM9, the uh, Beretta Nano, the Kimber Solo, some of the other single stack 1 or 9s that are coming out these days. It is a little bit thicker. That said, I'd be willing to bet there's just as many people carrying the Glock 26 as all those other guns, perhaps even combined. Um, most guys think the gun just feels good in the hand, points well, it has Glock's uh, legendary reliability, it's simple to maintain, all the other attributes that Glock's come with. And uh, inside the waistband, it's definitely not bad. I carry this gun inside the waistband a lot, uh, very, very frequently. Um, so, just to, wanted to point that out before we get into the rest of it. Um, another spec on it is that it is relatively lightweight. The polymer frame, it is coming in right at 20 ounces. Obviously, that's unloaded, so you go ahead and load it up. It's going to weigh a little bit more, but a lightweight gun as well. So, definitely another advantage going for the Glock 26. Another thing it, that's good about it compared to the other guns is that uh, capacity can easily be increased. So, if you want to carry the flush 10 round mag that you see here, but for a backup, Maybe you want something a little bit more. There's other options. Um, a lot of guys run the plus two extension on there. So that way you can run plus two. So you get 12 plus one in the Glock 26. A lot of guys carry it that way as well. But you also can use the uh, 15 round Glock 19 mag. And that's going to function just fine in here. If you want to carry that as a backup, 17 round mag as well. Fits just fine, works just fine, functions flawlessly. And if you're really going into a bad neighborhood and you want some serious, uh, backup magazine capacity, you can go ahead and put the uh, Glock 33 round mag in there. Again, it'll function just fine. So that's one thing the uh, 26 has going for it that the others certainly don't. But all in all, an excellent gun. It's been a very popular carry gun for years, decades really. And uh, it's still going strong and there's a reason for it because it works. This one here I've carried for years. It's literally never had a malfunction, knock on wood. <laughs> but um, always reliable, accurate as you saw out there at the range. It's more accurate than I am, I'm sure. 
but great gun. As always guys, if you have any questions about the Glock 26, anything else I review here on the channel, feel free to let me know. You can post below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you don't click the like button, typically, feel free to do that. Those kind of things help us out here at the channel, help our channel grow, become more popular. So uh, if you haven't done that already, please go ahead and do so. But um, hope to see you guys in the next video.